In this video we'll discuss how you can quickly create control bars for your mobile applications uh, using the predefined control bar templates. So control bars are a really popular uh, building block for mobile applications and they're used in the UX component. So let's go here into this empty UX component and add a, uh, a panel card. So we'll go there and add a panel card and then we'll right click and say add a panel header and we'll specify that we'd like to include a control bar in the panel header. So at this point we have a control uh, panel card with a panel header and a control bar in the panel header but we haven't yet configured the appearance of this control bar so when we go over to working preview now we see the control bar over there but it hasn't yet been defined. So let's go now, let's actually turn on mobile preview and then go here and configure this control bar and what we're going to do is just choose a sample um, a control bar from the built-in list of control bar templates. So when we pick that we get to see uh, all of the built-in templates over here so you can see and for each template you can see a little preview of what it looks like. So this uh, template here has a menu that slides in from the right hand side when the user taps on this button. This here uh, slides in the menu from the left hand side when the user taps the button. This over here displays a button bar which is useful for selecting uh, different panel cards in a panel navigator. This here displays a drop down uh, menu so when the user taps on menu 1 a menu drops down underneath that button. Uh, this next template here is very similar to the previous template excepting that it's been styled. We've set a color for the um, for the control bar background and we've chosen to use icons for the two menu buttons over there and we've chosen to display the actual menu itself using a white background and in this last uh, template we've again basically got menu buttons but you can see now that the uh, menu buttons the menu itself appears to be floating and there's a little arrow indicating that uh, it's dropped down underneath that button over there. So let's go ahead there and choose for example this template so we'll go ahead and click OK and we can see now that it prompts us is this uh, control bar in the header or the footer we'll say it's going to be in the header. So now you can see that the control bar has been filled in for us right now and if we go over to preview it there's our control bar and if we tap on the button there's our menu if we choose uh, button 2 then we can see that the action for that button hasn't yet been defined. So now that we have this template installed we can easily go and modify the template, add new actions, change the wording on these buttons over there etc. So for example if we wanted to go and add a, say a new item to one of those menus we can go here to control bar properties, add a new button so we'll call this one say uh, button 7 then go to the disclosures over here, to, sorry the layouts and then let's look at say menu number one. So menu number one uses a custom layout and it's got uh, button one, two and three so we'll put a BR in and then we'll go here and insert uh, button number seven over there and then we can easily go and assign specific actions to each one of these buttons so if we go here to actions we can see there's this the, this latest button that we've added and here's the on click event for that button which is currently just not defined so if we go now and we run this again we'll see now that the first menu now has got this uh, additional item on it so what we've shown over here is how you can get a quick start uh, uh, when you build uh, control bars by using the predefined templates and these predefined templates uh, create patterns uh, or implement patterns that are very common in mobile applications. Thanks very much for watching.